guys and welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a bit of a longer one, but if you have a horse that struggles with cantering or confidence with the saddle, then this might be one that's worth watching all the way through. Or if you just like watching a horse run around, this is also for you. So if you've watched one of our previous videos, you would have seen that she has managed to canter before with the saddle on. That wasn't really a consistent thing. Um, and then because of the weather and different circumstances, she had a long, a long time where she didn't have to uh, canter or didn't have to have the saddle on at all, in fact. So when I tried to do it again, she wasn't really doing it as you probably saw in the last video. So I want to try something a bit different. So we put up a kind of round pen with electric fencing, quick setup, really 10 minutes or so to give her the freedom because I was under the impression that she wasn't cantering because of the restrictions of the rope, right? She's not very confident with turning. She's not, she hasn't got that coordination. So by being able to just go around the outside of an arena, I thought that that would help her. So as you can see, she's got the saddle on, no bridle, just a head collar. I'm stood in the middle, sending her around. Uh, she's already playing around a little bit. But she's relatively relaxed. I think she's more looking for a way out. Hence why she stopped there, because that's the way we came in. And I'm just trying to direct her, guide her with a lunge rope, lunge whip, sorry. And then slowly try and ask her for a canter. The first thing to do, well the first thing I wanted to make sure was that she was completely calm just trotting. Right, because the worst thing to do is put them in a new kind of place and just keep sending them around. I know some people do that with natural horsemanship. And that's fine for different circumstances, but this is one where I want her to be totally calm and I want her to only have positive associations with the saddle. So that means that I don't want her to feel that she constantly needs to run away or to go as fast as she can whenever she's got the saddle on the back. So eventually she stopped by the cameraman, I think. She was asking for help. <laughs> So we just took it easy, no stress, give her a chance to cool down as well. This is where I start to ask, and you can see she's speeding up, but she's not really managing. She's also not really following the edge of the arena, if you notice, she's cutting corners. So what I started to notice, see she managed to there, but she got scared which to me was interesting because I expected if she was loose that if she got scared she'd kind of have her bucking fit and that'd be it. But it wasn't, in fact that spooked her a little bit and she wasn't really keen so she just, as you can see she sped up, sped up but preferred to stay trotting. But nonetheless I carried on trying I'm confident that she knows my voice commands, so she knows what I'm asking. But now this is giving her the freedom to try. See, she tried to come back into me there, but I was like, no, carry on. And you can see she's trying, but every time she breaks into canter, she started to get scared. And then the reason that she is stopping is I think it's because a while ago, but going back to my original fall, she was told off for bucking and going into canter, right? And that was fine because she's, you know, that's not a desirable behaviour. But then when she's not comfortable, she's afraid of bucking, right? So rather than just getting it out of a system, she stops herself. But that also means it's incredibly hard to help her gain confidence because she's not letting herself move freely with a saddle. Which is where I thought 
you know, having this round pen would help her, but really it was just the same. Actually, it was just the same as lunging. Um, it's worth trying for different horses. For me in this instance, it wasn't really worth it because it did take longer to set up, obviously, than just whacking on head colour and a lunge rope. And also she got a little bit stressed out by the end. Not terribly, but you can see she's not that relaxed. She is now more or less just running around looking for a way out rather than actually trying to canter. See, if you see as well, I'm trying with the whip to give her the cue because initially when she was learning to canter without the saddle, she would use the sound of the whip as a cue as to when she should change into canter. So me being a bit more, I don't know, I don't know the right word, but moving the whip around more isn't me trying to scare her, it's trying to give her that guidance that I think she needs, but clearly she's not taking it and she's just running around. As I said, it's interesting for me because when she was broken in, she was broken in using natural horsemanship methods. So there you go, again we got a few strides of canter, but they definitely weren't comfortable and they weren't confident. You can see she's looking and chewing, but to me that's not what I'm after. So when she was broken in, she knows the round pen, that's me giving her like a bit of reassurance, saying I'm not chasing you all the time. Um, but yeah, I've seen her gallop around with the saddle, canter with the saddle, but because she's had such a long time off and we've been using more unique training methods, I would say, stuff that just works for me and her, I think she doesn't have that freedom to just let the saddle move and I think she's got it in her head that she doesn't know what that means. See, she's trying to turn into me, but that's definitely not something I want. So there we go. We <laughs> so what I'm saying, you can see she really, really wants to buck, but she is stopping herself, which then leads to that skidding. So anyway, I ended that with just kind of trying to chill out a little bit, took her back out of the, uh, the round pen, put her back on the lunge rope to give her some kind of familiarity. Because as I said, if you've seen her previous videos, you know that she has done it before. So I thought she'd pick it up quickly, but it's something that she struggled with. And you can see she is trying, right? She's not being lazy. She's moving her head around and that's kind of how I know she really is trying. So there we go, we've got another reaction. And one of the things to bear in mind is she's not really schooled. So she isn't confident with changing speed. So going from trot to canter can be tricky for her anyway, especially if she's got something else to think of, like the saddle. So there you go, she managed to do it again, but the saddle started to move. That was the kind of point that we were hitting a lot, which is a little bit frustrating, because you don't want to get on a horse that has that kind of issue with the saddle, right? Because you're going to come to pro more problems later on. So if she's not totally relaxed with the saddle before I'm on it, she's only going to be worse when I get on it. You can see we're going round here, because it's also just to let you know, between every few laps, she, we'd also give her one where she can just walk and chill out for a little bit, cool down, so you can see it's a sunny day. 
And if your horse does get a little bit stuck mentally, change reins or change it a little bit, give them a walk around. Because sometimes for her it happened previously that she wouldn't be able to do it and then she'd have one lap of walk and then she'd canter perfectly the time after that. So with, with training and stuff it's important to just be patient with each horse. It's easy to forget that they can uh, that they can take longer than you'd like them to. And also, if things don't really go to plan, then you've got to try and find a good note to leave on. Right, so to me in this session it's clear she's not really comfortable. She's not sure what to do, but we're going to keep trying because it's also kind of fitness exercise, right? But then you leave it on a note where you see she's relaxed, or at least trotting in a relaxed way. So then, another day, another place. <laughs> Again, just with a lunge rope. I changed location a little bit, um, because this part is a tiny bit hillier and this is where she learnt to canter, so in order to assist her she uses the downward slope to kind of take that weight off so that she can go into canter. So you can see she did like two canter strides and then immediately you praise her, you tell her she did great. That's also really important, so if you, even if they try and they don't quite do it right but they do try, give them so much praise because then they know, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be working towards. And the other thing is that I try to give her that freedom to keep moving, to keep using the motions. So if she doesn't do it on one lap, it's okay. We carry on straight into attempt two. And that's all you can really do, because the other danger is if you keep stopping them, then they'll keep kind of trying, but then stopping, and then you gotta work on that problem. She was quite agitated that day. Um, as you can see, she kept putting her head down and almost kind of wanted to roll. The weather's been a bit crazy, actually, recently. Um, with lots of flies and warm weather, see, like there, she totally wasn't paying attention to what she was doing. She had nose to the ground. See, that's brilliant, right? Although she stopped and still did that weird little, like, bunny hop thing, she did do a stride of canter and she tried and that was a lot calmer than she'd been doing previously so she wasn't just running around crazily she wasn't just speeding up and sometimes you just have to take those as okay yeah that's the best you did and I'm happy with that for now and then obviously you've got to do it on the other way which again can take just as long because horses are different each side. It's interesting actually because this way around is normally her stronger canter, meaning without the saddle. But this was the way she was struggling more recently. I don't know, I just I found it kind of interesting. Let me know in the comments if you know why she'd struggle more on her better side. My guess is that she's struggling with control 
you know it's a more powerful canter so the saddle probably moves more and that's what she's more worried about the other interesting thing to point out is I try to keep the rope as relaxed as possible which is something on this day I learnt differently actually so again you know keep trying and see that was brilliant because you did like a kind of canter stride which didn't freak out right but what I realized is and this is the point of the entire video is actually it was easier for her when she had guidance from me right those were a good few strides of canter totally calm right you wouldn't guess we were having all the problems that we were having earlier so what she preferred was me to have the rope a little bit tighter like that just to guide her round that loop and she just immediately found comfort in it and that changed the game for us she's now consistently cantering with the saddle no real problem even with the saddle flaps so it's that guidance, it's that contact that she likes. And as I said, it's definitely interesting because all the methods I use normally, you know, you say have a relaxed rope. That's their reward, that's their release. But she definitely felt better having that contact. Which bodes well for ridden exercise, of course. But see, like that, she normally she'd stop and freak out, but I think for her, it was just easier having me to guide her and her not having to panic about what she's doing. She just has to follow the rope, change lead when I'm asking. It was perfect every time. I was really, really impressed with her. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed that. Sorry, it's a bit of a long long video. Hopefully you've learnt what I didn't, how to train your horse to canter with the saddle and help gain their confidence. Thanks for sticking with it all the way. Drop a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. <laughs>